Here is a Blender Octane quick tip. If you notice here, I have this train that's being animated across the screen, and I have these nice motion blur streaks here. But if you notice the inside material or the inside lighting here, it does not have that motion blur. One important thing to remember in Blender Octane is to turn on the motion blur, and it can be turned on on a asset individual level as also as an overall. So if I jump back into my scene, and if I go ahead and make sure I'm clicked on my album that I want to add that motion blur, which is this cube inside of here that is uh, has the uh, the image on here, basically. So if I come down to the image data properties, if I scroll down, you'll see motion blur. You notice it's not ticked. So I'm gonna go ahead and tick that on. Come back to my settings. Also make sure your master motion blur is also on meaning for your overall scene and you notice that here it is and then I also have my shutter speed cranked up a little bit so I have it set to 40 and the shutter is gonna this the shutter for is going to perform after the motion so let's go ahead and re-render that frame so now here you can see I have the motion blur enabled on that actual cube and now we get the motion blur. So just something to keep note of if you have an object that does not appear to have motion blur, here it is without and then here it is with it, in, with it enabled. If you're curious and want more cool little aha moments and tips like this, consider joining our Blender Octane community, links down below.